Okay. So briefly going through where we were. Okay. All of you, some of you have to tell me whether you can see my desktop where my mouse is moving. Mm, yes. Sir. Uh, yes, sir. We can see it. You can see. So this was the problem. <clears throat> we had the activities. And with the connection of the predecessor, so activity and predecessor gave you the project network. So this is the project network. Now the this is a network where activity is on arc, not on node. It is on arc. Then with the duration, which is a calculation of the optimistic, most likely, and pessimistic time. This duration, we found a formula. to calculate the mean duration which is summation of optimistic plus pessimistic plus four times of the most likely divided by 6 karke we found the mean duration and for variance we calculated the difference divided it made a square of it and found the variance that means from the mean how much it might vary so the formula for mean was this one so optimistic time plus four times most likely time plus pessimistic time divided by 6 through that we found the mean durations or the expected durations of completion of every activity and the variance is by tp minus to divided by 6 the square of that is the sigma square of the variance so this is the mean duration which we have plotted okay there will be definitely a lag so i will wait for a while so the mean durations are in black and the variance are in green so what i do is i reiterate the network diagram with the mean duration because mean duration may not be the exact duration that you might need but over experiments with more weightage on the most likely factors we have tried to find out that what are the times how much duration should be given to each and every individual activity so in our cpm method we had the durations on the node here we will have the durations on the inter node or the links or the arrows or the arc so if we move from any one point to the other in the direction of the arrows given so activity a takes us from node 1 to node 2 then that particular 1 to 2 is known as a forward pass and if you are moving from 1 to 2 then 2 to 1 is known as a backward pass so the direction remains the same only the direction of evaluation consider calls it a forward pass and a backward pass but always these passes are connected through the links which are connected through the arcs which are connected so with that what we did was first we had the network diagram and in this brown color we had small two two boxes on each and every one each and every activity so node 1 signifies a and b and c are going to start so it is starting on 0th week node 2 will start after node 2 is reached when activity a is over so activity a is starting duration plus 6 so in that way from 0 we went to 6 6 plus 2 karke 8 8 plus 5 karke 13 okay but 13 or something else because 8 is only going to happen when activity j and activity i both are completed then only we will reach the node 8 So, एक था हमारे पास एट के पास में थर्टीन ऑन द अदर साइड वट वी हैव इज वन टू थ्री सो एक्टिविटी बी में तीन दिन है सो थ्री इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एट वीक थ्री विथ थ्री आई एड द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ ई विच इज थ्री कहा चला गया सो इट शुड हैव बीन सिक्स बट ओके we reach 6 we six reach the node 6 either by b e b and e or by c and f so c and f together takes 4 plus 5 is 9 weeks so out of 6 and 9 9 is higher 
so as per rule i have noted 9 here so in that way we completed first the value in the lower box 9 ke baad we are coming to 7 so we can reach 7 in which ways we can have 1 3 6 7 we can have 1 4 6 7 or we can have 1 4 7 so out of all these three options at 7 the one which is higher is 9 plus 5 is equal to 14 otherwise we would have had what 4 plus 3 is 7 so 7 is less than 14 3 plus 3 plus 5 is 11 11 is less than 14 so 14 is the maximum one so we have written 14 below the green color 14 below and then we have calculated that 14 plus 3 is 17 and 8 plus 5 is 13 so 17 or 13 may say 17 is the higher so 8 the the node 8 is reached 17 weeks after starting of the project so this has happened because of forward pass now with the backward pass so since we have calculated that 17 is the time the longest time that you are taking see we have not calculated the critical path yet we have just trying to put the information from a formula so we put 17 the 17 in the pink then we go in the backward pass so 17 minus 5 is 12 and there is only one arrow because to go to 5 you can only come from 8 5 cannot be reached from any other points by backward pass so 5 ka latest completion will be 17 minus 5 is equal to 12 now coming to 7 so 17 minus 3 17 is at 8 and duration of j is 3 17 say 3 subtract karunga to 14 aega because by backward pass i can come to 7 only from 8 then when 7 is plotted 7 so we can go to 6 either only from 7 so because see the back pass mein kya hota hai the starting point of an arrow not the arrow head but the starting point ke kahan se aa hai how many starting point it has it has only one starting point so from 6 only h starts so from 7 to 6 we are going in the reverse direction of h so 14 minus 5 karke upar mein what we have to write is 9 so jo green mein 9 likha hai uske upar bhi pink color mein there should have been a 9 now coming to 4 now see there are two arrows starting from 4 one is going towards 6 one is going towards 7 so we have to take the smaller one so 9 minus 5 is 4 and 14 minus 3 is 11 so out of 11 and 4 4 is the smaller so i am just you writing 4 in here as per the uh, formula or the algorithm which we have adopted where it is this one so minimum of lowest uh, sorry the latest completion of the next project minus the duration dono mein se jo minimum hai so 9 minus 4 5 karke 4 aaya tha aur 14 minus 3 karke 11 aaya tha so i have taken the smaller one which is 4 theek hai for one for activity one yahan pe so you only had the green zero to upar mein kitna aayega 10 minus 6 will be 4 6 minus 3 will be 3 and 4 minus 4 will be 0 so 0 3 or 4 mein se sabse chota hai 0 so i have plotted 0 in here okay so i have used this formula in the forward pass and this formula in the backward pass so after this is plotted then we will do a check what will be the check we have to check three criteria together three conditions together which is the critical path so calculation of the critical path so critical path means the longest path in the network critical path is the longest path in the network so it is only found when 
three conditions are fulfilled so let me show you three different conditions okay can you see two different windows no sir yes abhi tak nahi aa raha tha dekho fir se share karta hu i have i'm sharing simultaneously two images which i have already shared with you yesterday Yeah. So if you cannot follow my screen, then open the last slide and the fourth from the last slide. Two together in two different software, maybe. So. Ah, okay, yes, sir. Ah, yeah. Okay. Swagat, ah, yeah. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, yes, sir. Ah, yeah. Dikh raha hai. Dikh raha hai. Okay. So we have three conditions on the right hand side, and we will try to match it up with here. so first one says that we will will have three conditions to find out the critical path so along the critical path the earliest starting time of i should be the latest completion time of i matlab jo brown color ke box hai left hand side mein uske niche wale figure which is earliest starting time of i is equal to the latest completion time of i so we have to plot those points those nodes as well as earliest time of j is equal to latest time of j so see in the left hand side in node 1 you have the earliest starting time of i is equal to latest starting time of uh, latest completion time of i or 1 which is 0 and 0 along with that we have to have earliest starting of the destination that means activity jahan pe khatam ho raha hai 2 3 or 4 Out of two, three, and four, we have to take those where E S J is equal to L C G. L C J. So, देखो दो में क्या है? दस है, छह है, छह है. Not same. तीन में क्या है? Six and three. So they are not the same. चार में है four and four. So they are the same. So below, whatever I am writing is. Okay, I started with one, then I added four to that. इतना ही किया हो. Okay, you are probably seeing the total output, so don't get confused. First, I write one because one में ऊपर नीचे same है. Then I follow a condition that the ending time has to be same. The activity जहाँ पे end हो रहा है वहाँ पे और भी earliest and the latest has to be same. That means there is no slack actually. okay as well as one more thing which is the difference between the earliest starting of the jth activity and the earliest starting time of the ith activity so that should be equal to the duration the actual duration so here what let me do the calculation first all of them has to be there all these three conditions so Not only ESI is equal to LCI, not only is equal to ESJ is equal to LCJ, but also the difference between ESJ minus ESI should be equal to LCJ minus LCI. For example, say suppose let's take this loop one to four on the left hand side. एक से चार के पास में जा रहा हूँ. So नीचे का green color का difference देखो four minus zero is equal to four. दिमाग में रखो एंड पिंक कलर में जो है फोर माइनस जीरो इज ऑल्सो फोर एंड दैट वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू द ड्यूरेशन सी का जो ड्यूरेशन है वो है कि नहीं सो so, अगर ये तीनों सेटिस्फाई है देन ओनली आई विल मार्क द लाइन फ्रॉम वन टू फोर इन ए थिक लाइन और आई विल गिव इट वन मोर एरो जैसे रेड से मैंने थोड़ा सा एरो किया हो 
Now, where it fails? Now, see the connection from one to three. Node one to node three via activity B. So, there go. Six minus zero, which is LCJ minus LCI is equal to six. And niche ka dekho. ESJ, which is three minus ESI, which is zero. So, three minus zero is equal to three. So, the third condition where ESJ minus ESI is equal to DIJ, which is equal to the duration, but LCJ minus LCI is not equal to DIJ. So here the third condition fails. So we are not going to consider those for ca calculating critical path. Okay. Similarly, if you calculate from two to one in the backward pass of activity A, so six minus zero is equal to six is equal to duration of the task DIJ. But is not equal to ten minus zero. So this line I am not going to make it thick. So whichever line where the third condition is also followed. So so this is a simple example. There might be a place where there will be multiple critical paths. There may be because all of them might be same. Like two critical paths in both the critical paths there is no slack. So there can be two parallel critical paths also. So you should not be happy just by finding one critical path. It will be following all the paths through which you can have this connection. So, if I plot all these three conditions pairwise to all the activities, all the net network activities, then you will see one here, four here, because four to one, which is activity C, has followed condition one, two, three. Then six, six may open nine here, niche nine here. So nine. Minus four is equal to five, or niche ka nine minus four is equal to also equal to five, and then in four, upper or niche ka value same hai, in six, upper or niche ka value bhi same hai. So all the three conditions are fulfilled. Hence, I have put one more arrow with F along with F. So six is the node which I have again written in here on the right hand side. Value one se start kiya, then four, then six. Ab six ke baad dekho seven. Seven me dekho seven kaha kaha se aar hai? Four se aar hai aur six se aar hai. We are reaching seven from either four or six. So agar four or seven ka calculate karte, four se leke seven jaane ke liye through activity G. Fourteen minus four is equal to ten aur niche ka bhi fourteen minus four is equal to ten. So see. On the critical path, जहाँ right side में मैं conditions दिखा रहा हूँ, ESI is equal to LCI. ऊपर नीचे 14 है. Sorry, ऊपर नीचे 4 है. ऊपर 4 के ऊपर भी 4 है, नीचे 4 है. So 4 is equal to 4. ठीक है? Condition two is ESJ is equal to LCJ. So seven के पास में क्या है? ऊपर 14 है, नीचे 14 है. So second condition is also fulfilled, but the third condition is not fulfilled because 14 minus 4 is equal to 10. Or 14 minus 4 is equal to 10, but is not equal to the duration, not equal to the 3 written in here. So the third condition is not fulfilled. Condition 1 and 2 fulfilled, ho gaya tha, lekin third condition is not fulfilled. So I'm not darkening the line from 4 to 7. Activity G is not a critical. But activity A is critical. Because 14 minus 9 karke 5 aata hai. Niche bhi 14 minus 9 karke 5 aata hai. Or upper niche 14 hai, upper niche 9 hai. So H is a critical activity. So 7, reaching 7 follows the condition. Similarly, 8 may bhi a jayega. So after that, what we do is 1 se leke 4. From 1 to 4, upper mein rahega kya C. And niche mein rahega C ka duration which is 4. I have not written C on the right hand side, but you can write C. Over the arrow you just write, that arrow means activity C. And niche uska duration hai 4. Then from 4 to 6, upper me likho ge kya? F. Niche me likho ge 5. Then from 6 to 7, upper me likho ge H. Niche me likho ge 5. And from 7 to 8, upper me likho ge J. Niche likho ge 3. So summation of 4, 5, 5, 3 is 17. So 17 weeks is the time taken to complete the 
all the task in the maximum possible time and this 17 weeks is also coming from the left hand side picture okay so in the left hand side tum logo ko, you may have a question that sir when we are doing the forward pass by default in one way only we understood ki niche mein green color mein 17 aa chuka hai that means 17 will be a critical path then why are we doing all these three conditions to find out the actual critical path no the answer is not only the critical path but the, but the duration of the critical path may be more than one you may have more than one critical path you may have critical paths for both the paths the time will be 17 weeks so you follow any path any of it the other activity will be accommodated within that all the tasks will be accommodated so this 17 week is the time taken the longest time taken to execute all the tasks if we follow the critical path so what we have actually done in here is we have evaluated something we have evaluated that if I have to do an activity where should I have completed the previous one and where should be my current activity leading to so that the next tasks can be started so at every stage here we have an evaluation mechanism which is LCJ minus ESJ so if you are in a critical path LCJ minus ESJ should be is equal to zero. The second condition on the right hand side. So what I am doing is I am just taking uh, equation ki equating karo. right side ke saman ko left side mein leke jayega. So ESJ minus LCJ is equal to zero. Or LCJ minus ESJ will be equal to zero. Anyone. So we are now definitely there can be any other problems where we will have more than one critical path we will sort it out and definitely uh, who is that person Vivek Vivek is going to do an evaluation of the utility of these techniques and tell us that how this helps us in reviewing back how the backward pass helps us to review the back the, the, that to start one activity how to check whether the previous activity is completed or not or it has been completed long back and it is waiting with its slack. So if 1, 4, 6, 7 and 8 are connected in the critical path, that means activity C, F, H and J are critical activities. Rest everything can have slack. Now it is up to a manager to review and find out ki which activity will give slack. Do ge. Kisi ko slack chahiye ki nahi. So you are telling me this is a construction work. So I'm a concrete ka slab bana hai. So I will give this I will give more slack time, more extra time in removing the scaffolding rather than curing of the concrete. So a good architect or engineer will say no. If you have the total slag allowable is three weeks, then you preferably try to give all the three weeks in curing of the concrete rather than paying more rental on utilizing the scaffolding. So that helps us in reviewing our works. Okay, so with this, I come to the end of one example of part, which is project evaluation and review technique. So it is evaluation because we have this time of most likely. So once we solve this problem and we know that from this experiment, we know that what is the exact duration that you have taken to complete that project you can incorporate that time again to the most likely times given to you in the first table and be more certain or that the most likely time will be closer to the optimistic time i am repeating again after solving this problem if you find out that this is the time that you have to follow and you execute the project as per that particular time and you are evaluating constantly while monitoring that part has told me this project reads this much time so whether it is exactly that or it is taking more or less time or not so with that calculation with that variation we are fine-tuning the most likely 
time required for each and every activity but that requires even more critical statistics so i'm not going to get into the probabilistic statistics so dekho hum log shuru shuru mein bol rahe the what is the probable time that you will need probability of completing that project in less than 22 weeks so for that what i will do is uh aaj to time hoga nahi but uh, we need a uh okay uh, are you accustomed with this normal distribution table or random number table or p distribution or t or f distribution tables no sir कभी कभी सुने भी नहीं हो ऐसा टेबल्स देखो कि बहुत मैथमेटिक्स बुक्स के एंड में रहता है इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स किताब के लास्ट में रहता है बहुत टेबल्स सर वी डिडंट हैव इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स सर मतलब 11 12 में भी नहीं था किसी का गलती से नो ओके सो वी विल टेक अप वन टेबल एंड आई विल लेट यू नो हाउ टू रीड दैट टेबल बट व्हेन कब so see today i have attended the third question find the critical path and expected project completion time so what i want is we have one more problem which is what is the probability of completing the project on or before 22 weeks so to solve that we need the help of one of the table okay so i will i might be sure. okay let's do something we have a next class on friday right so for friday i am sure that for your monday's exam you will not be focusing too much on part or cpm or any other project tools you will be studying on tender contract arbitration conciliations only so we will lightly complete the fourth question on friday in the first half an hour and then i will take up any queries from your side regarding the module 2 and module 3 syllabus 